Good morning, Nevo High School. It's Tuesday, and I'm Christian. I'm Trace. Welcome to Nevo High School News. Coming up, we've got some important announcements you need to hear, so stick around. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who you know. Hosted dues. You may bring dues to Ms. Weeha in the ID room until 9.30 in the mornings or to her classroom B202 the rest of the day. Deadline is Thursday the 3rd of November. No dues will be accepted after Thursday. Seniors. The October edition of the Senior Newsletter is now available in the counselor's office or online in the high school website. Pick up your, high, pick up your copy today. Our Veterans Day program is Friday, November 11th at 9 a.m. Please invite veterans. Invitation flyers are on the front desk in the office. If you want to send an invitation through the mail, Ms. Davis is in C110 and has invitations already in envelopes ready to go. Just add the address. Coming soon, the Needville High School Drama Department will present Disney's musical Mulan on November the 11th through the 13th. Based on Disney's <clears throat> Oscar-nominated film, Disney's, M Disney's Mulan Jr. is a heartwarming celebration of culture, honor, and the fighting spirit. With hit songs and a story packed with action, humor, and heart, Disney's Mulan Jr. brings ancient China to real life with a modern sensibility. Tickets for the public performance go on sale in the cafeteria at lunch beginning November the 1st. They are $5 each. And if you prefer to reserve your seat, log on to eventbrite.com beginning Sunday, November the 6th. Purchase your tickets and come take a mysterious journey to ancient China in this action-packed stage adaptation of Disney's animated film. You know what? I, I, think, I'll, I think I might want to see that. You, you should, man. I, I'm thinking about it. There will be a 9th and 10th grade parent meeting on Thursday, November 10th at 7 p.m. in the cafeteria to discuss graduation plans and your students' future. Please make plans to attend. JV and freshman football players, this is the last chance you get to order a pregame meal for $5. <clears throat> you never know what sweet treats might end up in your meal. So turn in your order forms to Mitch Mitchell by tomorrow morning. Order forms can be picked up outside room A109. Today, Nevo High School will be conducting a mock presidential election during lunches. Look for the campaign posters in the halls to learn about the candidates before you vote. See you at the polls. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes is having a fun night out Saturday, November the 5th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Creekside. Come out for a night of fun and fellowship and don't miss out on the door prizes. Admission is free. Student Council meeting tomorrow, November 2nd in the LGI at 7.35. Please don't be late. All members need to attend as we will be discussing important council issues. Seniors, Ms. Conzora will be at the school tomorrow, November the 2nd, to collect turkey raffle ticket money. All money is due on November the 14th. Computer science students competed at Katie Taylor this past week in the Java team of Matthew Camacho, Garrett Kubinka, and James Schroner finished 7th. The scratch team of Abby Mishka and Bailey Nugget finished first. The week before at <coughs> Dulles High School, the scratch team of Tristan Amos, Jacob Rodriguez, and Kyler Takel finished second. Great job. Congratulations to the FFA Livestock Judging Team, consisting of Miles Hoxted, Ty Thomas, Hunter Bean, and Kelton Poe on being named national champions and the high point team at the 2016 American Royal in Kansas City, Missouri. The team represented Texas and competed against 20 states and had a decisive victory. All four members were in the top 10 in the nation. Ty was first high point individual. Miles was fourth high. Oh, Miles was fourth high. Hunter was eighth high. And Kelton was ninth high individual. Way to bring home the championship back to Texas. The Lady J volleyball team showed their desire and character on Saturday by defeating Columbus for the first place seed in playoffs in an amazing five game match. Leaders for the match were Lauren Bozzi with 26 kills, wow. and Sydney Saker with 15, Hayden Smyers with three aces, and Casey Ramey and Madison Schultz with one. Anna Gadway with 51 assists, Casey <laughs> Ramey with 36 received passes, and Kaylin Kovarczyk with 22. Casey Ramey with 27 digs, and Anna Gadaway with 20. Sydney Saker with six blocks, and Anna Gadaway with four. Outstanding job, ladies. Good luck in the playoffs, and just keep winning. The Lady J Volleyball team will face Wharton this Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. for their first round of the playoff match. It will be at Lamar Consolidated High School in Rosenberg. So come out and support the Lady Jays as they just keep winning. Uh, attention, juniors and seniors. The prom theme has been voted and votes have been tallied. This year's prom theme is going to be a thousand lights. 
promise Saturday, May 13th, forms will be available in March to start purchasing your tickets. Students and teachers, we in the newsroom want to help you honor your favorite veterans this year. At the annual Veterans Day event here at Needville High School, and here's what we need you to do. Bring a picture of the family member or friend that you want to honor to our broadcast studio this Tuesday through Friday from 7.15 through 7.45. We will record a quick video of you telling us your veteran's name, how they're related to you, and which branch of the military they belong to. It's that simple. We'll do the rest. Just please help us out with this tribute to the veterans of our community. Teachers, Gradebook is open for posting grades for report cards. This Friday's theme is Show Them Who's Captain. Fishing and pirate themes. Hey, hey, Trace, do you notice your, your neck is missing? Bro, dude, yours is too. What the? Oh my goodness. I can't believe this. I'm yeah. so sorry. Anyway. That's awesome. Good morning, Needville High School. I'm here today to make you aware of a new opportunity for every single one of you. Many times when you become a senior, it's time to apply for scholarships uh, or different colleges that you really have been dreaming about for the last three or four years. Well, on these applications, it asks for a variety of things, and one of them is service. So here at Needville, we've decided to provide you an opportunity to earn more service hours. And we've created an organization called Needville Service Cord. And what this does is it allows students to earn 40 hours of service each year. And really, this is on you to help serve our communities anywhere. It can be in Needville, Richmond Rosenberg, mission trips, summer camps, anywhere that you can provide service free of charge to help others. The goal is to earn a total of 40 hours each year. So if you're a senior this year, you need to earn 40 hours. If you're a junior, you're looking at trying to earn 80 hours. And when you graduate, you will receive a cord to wear over your gown called a service cord. If you're interested in this, please click on our website and go to the student tab, scroll down to service cord, and you'll find all the documents there. In addition, you can come to my office and there's a table set up outside with service cord information you can pick up. There are four wonderful ladies helping to sponsor this. Mrs. Holderfield, Mrs. Uherrick, Mrs. Porch, and Ms. Davis. You can ask any of them and they'll be happy to help you. Let's have a great day, and as Mr. Adamson says, go Blue Jays. Um, livestock judging is the evaluation of animals. Uh, you do it, they'll put four animals in front of you and you have to sort them best to worst based on carcass readiness and you also have to take in part how attractive and structurally correct they are. So throughout the year from about September to April we compete at multiple judging contests every weekend and in April we have our area contest and we have to be in like the top ten in order to move on to state and at state we have to be in the top three in order to move on to a national contest and that's how we, we were third in state and so that's how we got to judge at Kansas City. Uh, this honor is huge because it's me being the youngest uh, I've never been able to do this and uh, being on this team is awesome to go judge with these three guys and just being successful in a Hopefully there's more for me in the future. This honor means a lot. Um, in January, me and, another, me and another teammate, we got the honor to go to Denver and, and compete there in the national contest, and we were reserved there. And from that point, we set our mind into being named national champion, so it shows that hard work and dedication does pay off. Uh, this, honor mean, this honor is really great. Uh, me and another teammate, this past January I got to travel to the National Western in Denver and one of the things that we set our mind on was becoming one of the or one of the first people to actually compete at all three national contests in high school and I think we're gonna do it and hopefully we can. And it's just really great that we got to have this experience of just doing this kind of thing. It really feels great because that's what I live for and this is what I want to do in life and so it's like a step in the right direction. 